Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Well Trying, the channel where I well try for well-being. Today I have really funky lighting so it might come in and out and I'm sorry for that, but I wanted to use this afternoon to take an opportunity to finish decluttering the entire big huge mess that I've accumulated over the past couple of years. Now I'm moving in a different direction um, with my inspiration for clothes and my you know wardrobe and things like that. I recently kind of discovered color theory and um, I truly think that I am a soft summer palette. So as you can see, I'm trying to embrace those colors a little bit more. Wearing like soft pinks, um, not wearing any bronzer, wearing more like taupey colors on my eyes, <laughs> like more just like light and kind of uh, pastel -y colors. And my wardrobe has a lot of colors that just simply are not that. I am a formo, formo? <laughs> I am a former goth slash former emo kid. And my wardrobe has a lot of black because I wear black to work. But I really want to kind of overhaul everything. I've been watching a lot of videos lately um, by Naja Sierra, who I definitely think you should check out. She's fantastic. She talks about minimalism. She talks about the quality of clothes and I just find her channel really, really sleek and polished and really informative. So check her out if you haven't seen her already. I've also been inspired by The Financial Diet and a series they're doing. Today I watched a video about uh, having a no-buy year and I think that that's a really cool idea. And in it, the woman was talking about the importance of having an A-list wardrobe. Presently, I have more like an R-list wardrobe. <laughs> I have things that I just try to put on that just don't work and I try to make them work and then I find myself in public just like nervous and cautious and sitting in a particular way and wondering about how I'm being perceived. Is this boob out? Is this piece of whatever showing? Do I look funny? And I just don't want to live like that anymore. I want to have a wardrobe that I am happy with, with high quality items that work with my skin tone, my essence, my body shape, and that's a goal. I'm really happy that you're here with me. There's a lot of people that are new, and I just wanna say thank you so much for just being here, for watching this video, for leaving your sweet, nice comments. There's so many people that have left so many helpful comments. Like, I wouldn't have known that I'm a summer uh, if had, people hadn't have left comments about being a summer because I always thought I was a winter. Let's spend some time this afternoon trying on clothes and then giving them away, throwing them away. There's things in here that I can't even donate. Like no one will take that type of stuff. So we're gonna see what we do with that, but let's get started. Okay, so this is the first thing I need to get rid of. And it's a top from Zara. Now it's got these little ties on the side that never ever ever stay tied no matter what I do. It's an elastic waist and then these are just there for detail. The reason why I want to get rid of this is one, because it's see-through. Two, you can't really wear a bra with it. You have to like tuck your sleeves down. Like I like to show this part of my neck, but the color I don't think really works for me that well. The cut doesn't really accentuate my waist, it's more of like a cropped situation but it's very voluminous above it so I'll show you I think it would probably be a nice top on someone else but it just doesn't suit me and so this is gonna be the first item to go a little top you served me not well next up we have this kind of rumple still skin era romantic kind of flowy uh, Shakespearean top from H&M I think it's really bold of them to sell a top like this. <laughs> and it was even bolder of me to buy it thinking I could wear it. I like the sleeves because they give that, you know, soft natural kind of, you can adjust them so they're very drapey and I like that about it. As you can see, it's completely see-through. No matter what bra I wear with this shirt, you're gonna see what it looks like. <laughs> Just how it is. These things are like completely see-through. Uh, the, these little parts are completely see-through. From the back, it's completely see-through. I don't know if I'm just a dummy who doesn't know how to style this kind of shirt, or if they just made a shirt that is see-through and they were like, here you go, good luck. Either way, I bought it, and either way, I regret it, and now it's time to say goodbye. Gotta let it go. What else? Okay, this one hurts. 
This shirt has all the elements that I like in a shirt. It's got the perfect, correct amount of sleeve that I need with the right amount of looseness. It's got a drapiness to it and a collar that really flatters. It's got these little buttons and it's a little bit sheer, but it's not like the last shirt where you can literally see your areolas. I love the shape of this shirt. I bought it at Valley Village like four years ago and it was $10 and it's a Wilford shirt. So that's pretty amazing. I don't know if you can tell, but gold on me doesn't look that nice. It's just not for me. Has to go. Okay, this one hurts because this shirt literally still has tags on it. I went ahead and bought a bunch of Babaton Sculpt Knit Aritzia shirts thinking, wow, this will be such a great summer addition to my wardrobe. I can just put on a simple white top and be on my way. But no, this white top does nothing for my soft natural body type. If anything, it creates like a diamond shape. Not even a diamond shape, it just makes it blocky. It sucks it in, but it's just like a block, a block. There's no waist definition. It's all just like straight down. This one's a tough one because this is like a 60 or $70 shirt and it's brand new. So it's time for me to stop shopping, that's for sure. Here's what's next. It is an H&M acid washed denim jacket that I cropped myself. Now this sounds cool as hell. And truthfully, I do like it. Like I like the acid wash on me. However, it's just a very boxy jacket. So it gives like toddler boy wearing jacket that was his older brothers. But it's just too, boxies in a denim box to look better on like maybe a flamboyant natural or even a gamine or something but on me just looks a little too boxy so again goodbye to you what's next for a person afraid of her shoulders i really thought that i could wear this american apparel skin tight um off shoulder <laughs> bodysuit. Sleeves too long, tight. I feel restricted. Never felt absolutely my best in this. There's something about how much of this area it exposes that I just have never really liked on myself. Pardon me while I braid my hair. Or the fact that it's like skin tight, there's no drapiness, so you really do see every like width and curve for the fact that it just like really reveals a lot of skin on my shoulders and i don't necessarily feel like so confident about that <laughs> my hair up it makes it like a lot worse it's time to let go of this one even though i keep thinking i'm gonna wear it someday for something but it's time to say goodbye here's another thing i'm getting rid of these kind of top shop wide length, wide length, wide width, wide legged. <laughs> really like these pants at first, but there's just something to them in the fabric or the material or something that just makes them wrinkle almost straight away. And they're just a little bit too scratchy on my legs. They become kind of like in the house pants, you know? but the scratchiness of them makes the, my legs shape, so it's hard to even wear them as in-the-house pants. Um, I like how they fit. They're a little loose, which is okay. I just feel like doing like dancing. Like a little all uh... Yeah, anyway, they have to go. <laughs> okay, here's another shirt that I'm getting rid of. Pure silk shirt. Um, I got it thrifted, and I had planned to style it as like kind of like a resort shirt and to do something like this to tie it you know just kind of pull the sleeves up and have like a very casual kind of nice shirt but i hate the top of it it doesn't stay like this it kind of 
It either goes like that, which gives me a really closed neckline, which I don't love. I just don't think it's super flattering on me. And it's kind of bulky at the sides here, even when you do tie. I struggled trying to style this for a while. Like you could tuck it in. That's the vibe. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it in the camera, I, I almost kind of like it. But I have so many black shirts and black button-ups that I really don't need one that I feel uncomfortable in. And I really want to get away from just wearing strictly black. I would like to wear charcoal <laughs> or navy or, you know, colors that aren't just black. So. For me to keep this, it would be a stretch. I just don't love it. I don't think it's very flattering, and so it's time to go. And some other declutters include this bag that I purchased um, maybe two years ago at this point. It's like a small little knapsack, and it's cute, it's fine. It's got gold details, which I don't know why I bought that because I never wear gold. It's just kind of a low quality, and I bought it on Amazon. I'm stuck. Not very elevated or elegant and I have tried to wear it a couple times and it sits kind of funny on me. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I also have this purse, which I really liked. I bought it because I thought it was like a little bit of a cheeky like Celine, not Celine, whatever saddle bag that bag is, Dior, Dior dupe. Um, but it's just such low quality. You can see things are like fraying. It's not that nice of a purse. It's just, I think it was like, I don't even know what the brand is. Marona, I don't know what that is, but there's just so much fraying on it. I love like a crossbody, but it's just not high quality and I'd rather invest in one that's actually high quality. You're getting rid of my Doc Martin Oxfords. Um, I bought these secondhand. They've got like paint on them, which I think makes them look more cute and authentic, but every time I wear them, they're so painful. I don't know who is breaking in Doc Martens. I've had two pairs ever. One pair I bought broken in already, and I've got like Doc Martin boots. Can't wear them, they hurt. This shoe hurts. I don't know how to break it in, and I'm a server in my day job, so I can't put my feet through extra torture that I won't be able to work. So it's just like the leather here is just too intense. You know, it's just a well-made quality shoe. It's just not for me. Additionally, I'm gonna be getting rid of these little loafers that I got from Common Sort in Toronto. Uh, I paid $28 for these. Oof, and they're from Zara. You put your foot in them and then the back just like goes like that. Just squishes. There's no support whatsoever. I look like a little Peter Pan guy walking around in them. They're just not for me. Unfortunately, I spent $28 on them. I should do a running tally of how much money I've wasted on all this stuff. Maybe not actually, that would be depressing. Lastly, I have a high heel. This is from Malu. Super comfort, made in Brazil. I got these at probably Winners or Marshalls. I needed them for a funeral and uh, tried to wear them, couldn't. These are extremely painful, despite these little knobbies inside and this like comfort gel. I'll, I'll never wear these again. <laughs> I just can't wear them, they're not for me. Don't like them, so. I'm gonna put a lot of this stuff outside on the curb. I'm lucky because I live in a neighborhood where people pick up things from the curb and uh, it's a really nice kind of thing that happens. So I know that this stuff won't go to waste and whatever else I have that doesn't get picked up, I will literally just take it and donate it. So that's that. All right guys, I just wanna say thank you for joining me. I hope that you found this video fun. I hope that you're getting rid of some of your stuff too because Now's the time, you know? Let's just let it go and invite better, nicer things into our lives and, and not take that like dopamine hit of making a purchase and just wait until something we really want comes around, around, around. <laughs> I need a nap. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more content. Uh, going forward, I'm going to be splitting my channel 
taking my ASMR off of it, making another channel for that. So keep an eye out for that if you're here for ASMR. I'm so sorry, it's been mostly like fashion videos. Fashion, it's been like outfit videos. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next one.